Hello, everyone, and welcome to another tip from the EditorX team. I'm Ido, I'm a technical designer here at EditorX, and today I'm going to show you how I built this slider section using a layouter in the slides configuration. We're not going to build a section from scratch, but I will show you how it is structured. We have a grid applied on this section with three rows. There's a container on each row, and we're going to add our layouter to this middle container, which also has a grid applied to it. The function of the grid here is to lay out these containers, which create this window design that we have here. We're going to add in a layouter to this container. We'll change the layout from mosaic to slides. And as you can see, we now have a sliding layouter with four slides. We actually need only three, so let's delete one of them. And also remove the background color from the items. Let's make sure that the layouter spans the entire grid of the container and stretch it. We'll add the first image to the first layouter item and set it to 50% and also dock it to the top of the layouter item at 4%. Next, we'll add the second image to the second item set its width to 90% and dock 12.5% to the top. Finally, we'll add the last image and set to 80%, and it's going to be docked to the center with zero margins. Now, when we preview and scroll, we can see that our layout is sliding and also responsive, but we still have a few things to fix. First of all, we don't want the scroll bar to be visible. The next problem that we have here is that because the layouter is stretched to the container and the section has this padding on the side, the content cuts out at the edge of the container and not at the edge of the screen. And finally, we'll want to add some navigation arrows right about here that will animate the sliding on click. Let's get back to the editor and select our layouter. We'll turn off the show scroll bar toggle. I know that my section padding is 35 pixels, so what I'm going to do is give my layouter minus 35 pixel margins from both sides. Now the image is not going to cut off. Now in the inspector, we'll add navigation and select arrows. We'll change the default to the design we want, flip it, and resize to our liking in pixels. Now let's do the same for the next arrow. Because we want these arrows to always align with this edge here, we'll change their default position where they are pinned to the layouter to the parent container. That way they can relate to its grid. We'll place the arrows where we want them to be, dock them to the right, and make their size fluid. And that's it, we're done. We have a fully responsive slideshow. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.